I would probably whack him around the head because I'm not going to be responsible for a zombie outbreak. Hello everyone, my name's Claire and I'm going to be telling you about my favourite video games today. The first one, The Sims. I'm at the moment playing The Sims 4. You can play career mode, you can play like just whatever you can play you know being unemployed you, you can do whatever you want you can be whoever you want to be you can have pink hair you can have black hair you can be whatever you want you can be a serial killer okay you can't be a serial killer you can be a criminal <laughs> but you only rob people you can you can rob people's houses basically you, you uh, well unless they do do that when they leave the houses and we just don't know you can be an entertainer, you can be a stand-up comedian, you can be an artist, you can be an accountant, you know, you can be everything and anything and have children or not have children, be an arsehole, not be an arsehole. I really like the game. The only thing that I really miss about this game, Get A Life, that was it, it was called Get A Life. That, I loved that. Assassin's Creed, I mainly like the first game sorry the first game with Altair and then the second game with Ezio in it and then the spin-off games from Ezio because I feel like so many people played the first one and loved it then played the second one and then absolutely fell in love with Ezio as a character <laughs> then I bought Assassin's Creed 3 that one was okay Black Flag then come out and I really liked the ship side of it but the actual main missions the main storyline of black flag i didn't really like and then rogue come out and didn't really like that now the film's out and to be honest i've not even seen the film if you played like three games that you really loved and then the next game come out and you didn't really like it and then the next game come out and you didn't really like it and then the next game comes out and you're like please and you still didn't really like it. You kind of, you kind of give up, don't you? And next game is Dead Space. I've got the second one out, uh, but I do love the first one and the second one. You're going around in space, huh, funnily enough. Um, and you're trying to figure out like what's going on like what why has this happened what's what is happening um but it's quite eerie it's quite freaky and some at some times it can be scary in some points um there's a bit that sticks in my head about this game so like flickering on and off and it's a long quite a long corridor and before you get round the corner to the corridor you can see like a shadow kind of moving you hear like just banging you turn around this corner and at the end of the corridor you see a person and they're like just banging their head on the wall but like really hard um you continue going down there and you basically yeah his head ends up like he hits it so hard that his head basically smashes in and he dies that's dead space for you <laughs> um, and there's also a wii version of this game the game moves and then you just point and shoot uh yeah it really reminded me of like an arcade shoot -em up like last of us so last of us is a zombie based game so yeah he goes on a mission to take ellie to a certain location um because she's quite important they end up going on this big, big journey. It ends up being a lot longer than anticipated. It was supposed to be just like a little short thing. But if it went to plan, then it would have been a very, very short game. So <laughs> wouldn't have been that good. But the way it's set is you see, like, you get to see the outbreaks. Sometimes when you play zombie games, like, when you start the game, you're literally just in the mix. You just wake up and oh like there's zombies around me oh okay like this this is a thing now like <laughs> you don't get to see 
the gradual state of an outbreak. If someone walked through my door right now and, you know, looked a little, if they had died and then come back to life, <laughs> that kind of thing, and I would probably whack them around the head because I'm not going to be responsible for a zombie outbreak because all of these zombie outbreaks, if that person, the first zombie that turned into a zombie, if that one person just was responsible enough to smack him around the head, we would not have been in this situation. This would not have happened. This would not have been a thing. And not everyone wouldn't be dead and walking the earth. So go through all the emotions in this game. One minute you're angry, one minute you're sad, one minute you're happy, one minute you're disappointed. It's just, it's like a, a really good story that you get to shoot some zombies while you're doing it, which is perfect for me, really. In the game, you get something which is kind of like a focus mode. I can't remember what it's actually called in the game, but it's like a focus mode where you kind of crouch. Like everything goes black and white and you basically hear sound as if it's like white sound because everything that's making a noise turns white. You walk into a room and then you'll hear something and you'll be like, oh shit, you know. Do the, do the thing, and then you'll be like, there's no one here. And then you do it again, and you'll be like, are you sure there's no one here? Are you sure? Like, I'm pretty certain I just heard something, and it's probably something that you just heard in your kitchen, but you're like, are you sure? Another game that I really love, and this is the last game, uh, Bioshock. Uh, if you guys have watched my previous video, which was my Bioshock collection, I have a lot of stuff to do with Bioshock and I really love this game I have all of the games but number one is my favorite of all the games um you basically you're in a place called Rapture it's a city literally in the water and uh, because they're all crazy scientists they um they kind of invent weird crazy things so they decided to invent plasmids which are injections that you would put into yourself to give you like superpowers. People got a bit power hungry, people tried to overthrow other people and the town, the city, sorry it's not a town, it's a very big place, it's, it's a proper city. Um, it gets very run down because people stopped doing, stopped doing their jobs because they were all just running around trying to kill each other. If you guys if any of you guys are interested in my Bioshock collection, um, there is a video um, on it that I did last week and I'll leave the link to it down below so you can watch that if you are a Bioshock fan. Also, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Say hey! Say hey!